हेलो गाइस दिस इज चेतन वर्मा एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस पी इंस्टीट्यूट आज मैं आपके लिए लेके आया एक और वीडियो रिगार्डिंग मशीन लर्निंग सो मशीन लर्निंग की इस सीरीज के अंदर हम देख रहे थे आ, अभी तक हमने देखा था कि किस तरीके से एम एल जो डेटा प्रोसेसिंग है वो काम करता है एम एल डेटा प्रोसेसिंग के अलग अलग फैक्टर्स हमने देखे उसके फीचर इंजीनियरिंग स्केलिंग के बारे में हमने पढ़ा और लेबल इनकोडिंग के बारे में पढ़ा हमने ओवरव्यू ऑफ डेटा क्लिनिंग देखा जनरेट टेस्ट डेटा सेट्स फॉर मशीन लर्निंग देखा सो so, आज की इस सीरीज़ के अंदर हम देखेंगे कि मैथमेटिक्स रिलेटेड टू मशीन लर्निंग मैथमेटिक्स रिलेटेड टू मशीन लर्निंग सो मशीन लर्निंग की सीरीज़ में सबसे ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट चीज़ है वो है मैथामेटिक्स और मैथामेटिक्स में भी जो इम्पोर्टेंट है वो है लीनियर एल्जैब्रा ऑपरेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट लीनियर एल्जैब्रा वॉट इज लीनियर एल्जैब्रा तो सभी का क्वेश्चन ये होगा कि लीनियर एल्जैब्रा क्या है सो लीनियर एल्जैब्रा प्रिंसिपल्स आर क्रूशियल फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट बिहाइंड मशीन लर्निंग एज वेल एज डीप लर्निंग इवन मैनी आइडियाज स्ट्रगल टू क्रिएट अ प्रिसाइज मैथमेटिकल मॉडल लर्निंग लीनियर एल्जैब्रा कंटिन्यूज टू बी एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टूल फॉर सर्चिंग दैम सो कहने का मतलब ये है कि बहुत सारे जो आइडियाज हैं जो कि स्ट्रगल करते हैं जब हम उसको मैथमेटिकल मॉडल के अंदर प्रिसाइजली उसको क्रिएट करते हैं सो लीनियर मोड जो अल्जैब्रा है वो कंटिन्यू करता है ऐसे इम्पोर्टेंट ये एक इम्पोर्टेंट टूल के रूप में है जहाँ पर हम इन सब चीज़ों को सर्च कर सकते हैं इन सब चीज़ों को रिसर्च में डाल सकते हैं ठीक है लीनियर अल्जैब्रा एक बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट टास्क अदा करता है मतलब बहुत ही क्रूशल टास्क प्ले करता है ठीक है अल्जैब्रा गिव्स यू अ बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ द एल्गोरिथम्स एक्चुअली ऑपरेट अंडर द हुड सो द डेवलपर कैन मेक बेटर चॉइस एंड वन कांट स्केप लर्निंग सम ऑफ दीज टेक्निक्स इफ वन वांट्स टू बी एन प्रोफेशनल इन मशीन लर्निंग और डीप लर्निंग व्हाट इज लीनियर अल्जैब्रा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू डिफाइन वॉट इज लीनियर अल्जैब्रा so it is a branch of mathematics that allows to define and perform operations on higher dimensions uh higher dimensional coordination such as uh, if you let, let me tell you something about uh, high higher dimensionals what is higher dimensionals so suppose if you are talking about 1d 1d is like one dimensional so if you are moving from x axis from left to right on right to uh, left so this is x axis and you are uh, moving either you can move left side or right side so this is one dimension and this is x axis when you introduce two dimensional so x and y axis we have two axis x axis and y axis you can move either uh, left and right or uh, forward and backward then we have three dimensions in three dimensions either we these two uh, dimensions are included along with that we have another dimension called z axis through that we can move up and down also like that suppose you are in this plane you can move this uh, right side left side up uh, up and down and uh, then forward and backward also so in 3d you can do so okay and then we, such as we have many dimensions in 3d uh we have 4d we have 5d we have 60 like that we have rn if n means n refers here dimension okay so dimension suppose we have four dimension or seven dimension so how will represent coordinates of seven dimension x1 y1 z1 or then up to uh up to seven like we will uh, donate p q P1, Q1, R1, S1, like that. Up to seven will donate, uh, denote these kind of things. Okay, so I hope uh, uh, you have understood about the dimension. So in a branch of mathematics that allow to define and perform operations on higher dimensional coordinates and plane interaction in a concise way, linear algebra is a algebra extension to an undefined number of dimensions. So here we are working with undefined number of dimensions undefined number of dimensions ab aapko ye nahi samajh mein aa raha hai ki in dimensions mein apan likhte kya hai theek hai to uske liye main thoda sa aapko define karna chahunga ki maan lijiye ki 
मैं एक चेतन वर्मा मैं एक प्राणी हूँ चेतन वर्मा ठीक है मेरे बारे में कोई चीज़ें डिफाइन करनी है आपको तो आप कौन कौन से फीचर्स लिखोगे मेरा नाम मेरी एज हो गई और हाइट हो गई फिर बाद में आप मेरा जेंडर लिख दोगे यहाँ पर ऐसे करते करते मेरे एन फीचर्स कितने भी अनडिफाइंड फीचर्स यू कैन डोनेट देयर एंड यू नो विद द हेल्प ऑफ फीचर्स के लिए सम अनदर टेक्निक्स यू कैन चेंज दिस फीचर्स इनटू न्यूमेरिकल फॉर्म और कैटेगोरिकल फॉर्म सो लाइक इट इज इजियर वर्किंग विद न्यूमेरिकल नंबर्स न्यूमेरिकल डेटा सो वी विल कन्वर्ट दिस फॉलोइंग फीचर्स इन टू न्यूमेरिकल सो दैट वी हैव लर्न सो फार इन अनदर सीरीज लाइक यू यू शुड वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज अबाउट डेटा प्रोसेसिंग सो linear algebra concerns the focus on uh, linear equations uh, li on linear equation systems in a continuous uh, type of mathematics and is applicable in science and engineering if you are talking about continuous types of math uh, mathematics uh, or if we are talking about science and engineering this is very uh, precise topic we should uh, learn about such kind of topics okay then <clears throat> as it helps on to uh, model and efficiently simulate natural phenomena before progressing to linear algebra concept concepts we must understand the these properties first of all i just want to tell you these properties uh, these are the very important properties which are associative properties then we have commutative commutative property third we have distributive you last what is this suppose uh, if we are talking about commutative property associative property suppose you have a b and c so a, a operation b operation c, c is equal to a, a plus b operation c a plus b plus c will be equal then if we will talk about commutative it will be a plus b equal a into b is equal to b into b a b plus a and if we are talking about distributive property it will be like a multiplied by uh, b plus c is equal to a multiplied a into b plus a, a into c. c so from there you can understand associative means these two things are associated with uh, uh, this one term and at the same time if these two are associated with this so you can also understand this these two combined you can associated with that suppose your father and mother uh, can associated with you so you and your father can directly associated with your mother this is called associative property and then commutative we are talking about commutative commutative is nothing but uh, like uh, as an example as an example like i'm saying uh, my my name is chetan verma so at the same time i can also say chetan chetan verma is my name. my name so like that you are talking the things directly or indirectly so a plus b is also equal to b plus a sorry this is a and at the same time if we are talking about distributive property so distributive property defines if we have b plus c multiplied by a so it will distribute with those uh, these two operands okay so at the same time it will do operation with a plus a into b and uh, plus will remain same and it will also do operation with c also so uh, these are the very basic properties in mathematics so then <clears throat> let's uh, learn about some linear algebra concepts uh, which are mostly used in machine learning implementation so first of all scalar so it it is a physical quantity described using a single element it has only magnitude and not direction basically a scalar is just a single number so let me define what uh, what is a scalar scalar is like that ki suppose a lot of the student had done 12th class uh, in mathematics and also they might be have an idea what is scalar and vector so scalar quantity are those quantity real numbers are called scalars which has magnitude it doesn't have direction suppose if i'm talking about distance uh so distance from uh bangalore to delhi 
how much distance from Bangalore to Delhi it's around 2024 see this is not real data this is just an example so if we are talking about 2240 kilometer so this is just magnitude this is not direction if we are talking about at the same time if I'm standing in Bangalore and I'm saying uh, tell me uh, the the vector of and uh, displacement actually displacement if we will talk about the real world with the displacement that will be the vector quantity so tell me the displacement from Bangalore to Delhi so we will say 2240 kilometer east okay east or west or whatever it is um, it is in north side so we are saying north so 200, uh, 2240 kilometer in north so in north if we are denoting in north so north here is direction it represents the direction okay so vector quantities are those quantities which has magnitude if we are talking about single numbers such as 17 to 56 these are only single numbers so these are vectors sorry scalars sorry guys these are scalars if we are talking about vector quantity it is a geometric uh, object having both magnitude and direction it is an ordered number uh, array and are always in row or column uh, vector has just one uh, uh, one index which can refer to a particular value within the vector so let me tell you what is it suppose if we are talking about vector uh, if I'm talking about this place in the plane okay if we have plane and if we are talking about symbolizing about this place let me show this thing in, in a more clear picture so we'll have a lot of clear picture to do okay so suppose I'm talking about about this this point let me give very simple equation y equal to f okay so if I'm talking about this point or this point or somewhere here here so these points these are the coordinate points along with the x axis and y axis so we are talking about four uh, points in four points towards x and four points towards y if you are talking in terms of points so four points towards x axis and four points towards y axis it is like that so if you are talking about uh, vectors so vector is like the this is kind of uh, row uh, row or column so e1 e2 e3 up to e n we can denote it's all up to the dimension of this uh, vector space okay vector space this is vector space suppose you will wonder what is vector space i have taken new terminology vector space vector space means uh, there vector is present okay cdc baat hai jahan vector hai wahi vector space hai agar hum R n की बात करें तो n dimension का vector space है इसके अंदर जो number of points होंगे coordinates होंगे उसके अंदर number of जो points हैं ये होंगे वो up to n होंगे ठीक है three है तो three होंगे तो ये x y z का हो गया एक vector के जो coordinates होंगे वो x y z के form में होंगे वही अगर five होगा तो एक vector के अंदर जो number of coordinates हैं वो five हो जाएंगे x y z a b c a b like that I hope up to so much now. Yeah. So you have to vector space. So could be example to lay you have a little up lays up to other man B2 key but for you. Other man it vector Lia R2 say money. So after two or five a vector of your other man a Lia R4 say to you have but जो वेक्टर हो गया टू थ्री फोर फाइव इस तरीके से मैं कोई भी वेक्टर इस पूरे वेक्टर स्पेस से उठा सकता हूँ इस पूरे वेक्टर स्पेस में से जीरो 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 तो दुनिया के कोई भी वेक्टर स्पेस में किसी भी डायमेंशन के वेक्टर स्पेस में मान लो आप ठीक है अगर वो वेक्टर स्पेस है तो जीरो 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 ये तीन कोर्डिनेट ये जो कॉर्डिनेट इस सीरीज के जो कॉर्डिनेट्स हैं तो ऑरिजन बोल दूँ मैं ऑरिजन तो हर एक वैक्टर्स स्पेस में मिलेगा मिलेगा क्यों क्योंकि ओरिजिन तो सबका सार है ना भाई साहब 
जहाँ से आप आते हो कहाँ से आते हो ओरिजन से तो ये तो आप सबको पता ही है ठीक है फिर ऑपरेशन सो ऑपरेशन परफॉर्म्ड ऑन वेक्टर्स फर्स्ट ऑपरेशन इज स्केलर वेक्टर मल्टीप्लीकेशन स्केलर वेक्टर मल्टीप्लीकेशन इट इज स्केलर वेक्टर मल्टीप्लीकेशन सपोज यू हैव वेक्टर पी इक्वल टू ई वन ई टू ई थ्री सो दिस इज इन रो फॉर्म ओके this fact a uh, vector is represented in row form you can also represent it. this isn't th uh, this form also sorry 2 3 and 4 you can also represent it like this also okay so suppose i have multiplied p into 2 so what it will do 2 into e1 e2 e3 so no wonder it will do uh, it will perform distributive property it will show the distribution so distribution means it will multiply with each of these points each of these coordinates so 2 multiplied by e1 2 multiplied by e2 2 multiplied by e3 so this is only vector scalar vector multiplication okay so when the scalar 2 is multiplied by vector p then all the elements of the p is multiplied by that scalar this operation satisfies which property uh, commutative property along with associative property okay so i hope you understood let's take a very common example 1 and 4 so this is p and p equal to 2 in suppose we multiply p into 2 so it will be 2 into 1 4 so this is only the commutative property and then we we can multiply both with this okay so it will be 2 and 8 so i hope you understood this let's talk about uh, something more interesting thing in this series that is matrix so what is matrix it is an ordered Two dimensional array, array of numbers. If we are talking about two, two into two, so here a one one a one two b one one b one. If I'm talking about about this, so this is ordered two dimension two D array of numbers, symbols, or expressions arranged in row, row wise, as also as column wise. So this is this. This in first column. This is second column. These are the first column. This is second column. This is first row. This is second row. Okay, it has two indices. The first index points the row. Okay, this this represents the row, and this represents the column. Suppose I'm talking about one two. So first row, second column. So I'll say first row, second column, like that. Okay, a matrix can have multiple number of rows and column. So it can be either two D, three D, four D, and five D up to n. Okay, so there are different kind of uh, matrix. So let's talk about different kind of matrix such as identity matrix. Identity matrix suppose this. If uh, the diagonal of the matrix, only the diagonal of the matrix. Is one having the value one, so this is called identity matrix. If it is like that, also this is also identity matrix. Okay. So first question is what is scalar mul matrix multiplication? What is scalar matrix multiplication? so suppose we have matrix like 1 2 3 and 4 and we are doing p into 2 so 2 multiplied with whole matrix so again it will distribute and it will multiply with all the elements which are available in our matrix so you understood well i hope so when the scalar is a uh, multiplied by vector p in matrix p then all the elements of matrix p d is multiplied by that scalar scalar matrix multiplication is associative distributive 
uh, and commutative okay then we have metric matrix vector matrix multiplication so what is vector uh, matrix multiplication multiplying two matrices suppose we have matrix one a b c d and we have this is matrix p and this is matrix q e f g h this is matrix q so how to multiply both of these so we will multiply how to multiply like row of this first matrix and column of this first matrix to make element of uh, this new matrix suppose this new matrix uh, name as z so if we are talking z11 is equal to a multiplied by e plus b multiplied by g like that so this is only one rule then for this if i'm talking about z12 so it will be this particular row multiplied by this particular column so column will be shifted e uh, a multiplied by f plus b multiplied by f, uh, sorry h okay like that z to two, two will be c multiplied by e plus b multiplied by g like that we will do for uh, sorry this is uh, 2 1 and uh, this is 2 2 is c multiplied by uh, f and b multiplied by h like that we need to do work i hope you understood and uh, if we are talking about uh, matrix multiplication uh, sorry matrix addition so matrix matrix addition this is matrix 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 uh, multiplication matrix matrix multiplication my question is what is matrix vector multiplication what is matrix vector multiplication Can you tell me what is it matrix vector multiplication so if you don't know i will tell you suppose you have p a b c d and you have vector q that is p and f suppose we have like that and we want to multiply this particular thing so then e is multiplied by first column and f is multiplied by second column so what we will do a multiplied by p and e is multiplied by first column and f is multiplied by second column so what we will do e multiplied with first column and f will multiply first column and f multiplied by, by second, second column. column this particular matrix so, and that will become pq okay so so it will be shown as pq so pq matrix will have a e c e d e, f d e, f so if you want to take e, suppose e or f common from this so it will form in, in form of mat, uh, vector so we can take common e and f simultaneously but it will represent in form of vector so i hope you have this, this particular thing it will be multi sorry multiplication of this p into this is p into q okay. and we can take e and f common from that particular matrix so it will represent in this form or uh, either in column form also okay it can also be represented in form column so it will be like e is multiplying with this so e and f e multiplying this particular so multiplied with this particular column and this is multiplied with this particular column so i hope you understood this 
let's change the color the matter matrix matrix addition what is matrix matrix addition suppose you have two matrices a b c and d another matrix e f g h so p plus q is equal to a plus e b plus f g plus c d plus h so this is p plus q this is p plus q so you can replace uh, a b with uh, some number and you can perform addition on that so this is only the matrix addition matrix matrix addition okay then same like matrix if we are talking about matrix matrix uh, subtraction so instead of plus you can replace plus with minus also so minus 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 and it will show the minus operation and in order to do multiplication we have done so far okay so let's talk about what is transpose of the matrix what is transpose of the matrix suppose you have matrix a this one a b c d so what is a transpose a transpose so what is a transpose like we are we will convert row into column and column into row so these particular row will be converted into column so a b will come like this and this particular row also will convert into column so this is only the row trans column transpose uh, sorry matrix transpose suppose you have three dimension array a b c d e f g h i and you want to do transpose on that particular matrix so what you will do a b c you will convert this particular row into column b e f g h and that's it this is it we will do with transpose of the matrix so now we have another thing like what is inverse of the matrix so what is inverse of the matrix we have uh, one more thing I just want to tell you transpose of uh, suppose two matrices we have if A is a matrix and B is a transpose of matrix A then transpose of B is original matrix of A and that we know that because uh, suppose A is original matrix and B is equal to transpose of uh, A only so transpose of this also is equal to this we know we know that uh, this if we will do transpose of this again so it will convert it into so, so that we know and transpose of m multiplied by n matrix will give you n into m matrix so if we will do if you have m into n and you will do transpose of this so you will get n into m if you will do transpose of this so you will directly get n into m i just want to tell you if you have two matrices a and b and if you will multiply those two matrices so it will not equal to b into a so here uh, which law doesn't follow here i can say commutative law doesn't follow okay so you have to have to understand this particular thing so then we have inverse matrix what is inverse matrix so the inverse of a matrix is the matrix when multiplied with the original matrix gives the identity matrix as the product if m is a matrix and n is the inverse of the of the m then m into n equal to i this will be the identity matrix. suppose you have matrix m and if you have another matrix that is uh, inverse of this matrix and when you will multiply these two matrices you will get i identity matrix that is what one zero zero one and if it is two dimension so a b c d when multiplied by e f g h if uh, it will give you one zero zero one this particular matrix so 
you can uh, interpret that n is a, an inverse of uh, inverse of is inverse of so m that is okay so i hope you understand this particular concept suppose you can you can verify this particular example four seven two six and uh, and we have zero point six zero point seven minus zero point two zero point four so when you will do multiplication of m into n so you will get one zero zero you can follow the same rule multiply this entire row with this column and then again entire row with this column so you can understand from the theorem 4 multiplied by 0.6 will 2.4 plus 7 multiplied by uh, 0 0.7 it will be 49.2 so 4.9 so like that 24 and all sorry it will be minus minus so from that it will be eliminated uh, and get the right okay so like that you can do so and uh, i hope you understood the concept very well so then we have tensor can you and can anyone tell me what is tensor and please write the definition of the tensor in comment if you know that these might these particular thing you might heard in your previous uh, classes maybe in 12th class or engineering first year you may heard about these all things vector vector space and all. but what about tensor so let me tell you tensor it is an algebraic object representation representing a, a linear mapping of a algebraic object from one set of set to another it is actually a 3d array of numbers it is actually a 3d array of numbers suppose you have till now you saw only 2d array now we have 3d array concept so what is 3d array 3d array concept is very so i was telling about uh, the tensor so it is actually a 3d array of numbers so suppose it's very straight line sorry my tiger connection is very it's not very good okay so if i'll put here e1 e2 e3 e4 then e5 here e6 here e7 here e8 here like that four number this side four number this side four number backward side and like that if i will represent so this particular object is considered to be in tensor so uh, a tensor has three indices first index index points to the row and second uh, index points to the column and third index points to uh, axis so it has three uh, indices so first is talking about uh, row column and <coughs> like that i j or k so first is talking about row second is called uh, talking about column row column and uh, the axis suppose i'm talking about first row second column and axis will be x axis or y axis or up and down like that like front one if i'm talking about so it will be first uh, row and second column it will be e2 so like that i can uh, define uh, about tensor so if you really want to know about tensor more so i show the tensor diagram tensor diagram is very important tensor flow you may be heard about this is very important uh, so like that we represent any tensor this is very clear picture so this is 
वेक्टर स्केलर मैट्रिक्स एंड दिस इज टेंसर स्केलर वेक्टर मैट्रिक्स टेंसर स्केलर वेक्टर मैट्रिक्स टेंसर स्केलर इज जीरो डायमेंशनल वेक्टर इज टू डायमेंशनल यू कैन मूव सॉरी लेफ्ट एंड राइट मैट्रिक्स इज टू डी सो टू डायमेंशनल एंड टेंसर इज थ्री डी सो हेयर थ्री डायमेंशनल सो दिस इज टेंसर अगेन इफ यू हर एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस यू कैन डू कमेंट so like that we have tensor so you, you may be heard about very popular library this is tensor flow so it's all based on tensor so we'll talk more about tensor in videos till now thank you and have a good day keep learning bye